our species is called Homo sapiens sapiens. And that means in Latin, species that knows and knows that it knows. To the degree that we know ourselves, we fill the Metropolitan Museum of Art and the Museum of Modern Art and the Philharmonic Symphony Halls and so forth with beauty. To the degree that we don't know each other, we create mayhem and we see it all over the world. Sustainability, social justice, um, uh, conflict, terrorism, economic disparities. They're not separate problems, they're one problem. They're a problem of the separate self. Unless we heal the separate self, they're all going to exist. And all our approaches are reductionist. So we want to do this, we want to do that, we want to do this. When in fact, what we really need is a shift in consciousness. There will never be social transformation unless there's personal transformation because society is made up of people. When we use the word self, S-E-L-F, and we have the self be defined as limited to these bodies and the skin boundaries that we have, that we're in dire jeopardy of a self defined as a singular noun embedded in a body, but then in fact the self extends out to other people that you know and even to other people you don't know who are on the planet now and who will be alive for future generations. If we can expand this sense of self, I believe very deeply that there's a hope that we can reverse the path that the human species has created that's destructive for the survival of all living beings on Earth. So if we're the species that knows and knows that it knows, maybe we need to actually grow into that name now because it's sort of very precocious that we gave it to ourselves. But that may be the actual turning point uh, for the species and for the planet in terms of us in some sense m literally and metaphorically coming to our senses take getting a grip on what's most important and re synthesizing in some sense or reconfiguring our society so that we actually optimize what's most beautiful and good in hu our humanity we need to literally realize the self is differentiated but then must be linked to a wider whole to expand what Einstein called a circle of compassion so that we realize in his terms that the optical delusion of our separateness is actually literally a form of not thinking clearly, of non-reality. Why do I call this my body and not the tree my body? Because somehow I have the feeling that I'm inside my body, but I'm not. There's nothing there inside my body. The real me is non-local, which means it's everywhere. So I'm not closer to this than I'm closer to that, even in space-time. We're running out of options other than to wake up. <laughs> it's starting to become a, possibly a biological necessity of survival. And when it gets to that point, it really starts to get people's attention. We may destroy ourselves if we can't actually wake up to the fact, to the living experience, that we really are the same. You know? It's not good enough just to have the philosophy that we're really the same, because th that philosophy breaks down when push comes to shove. It, it has to be something that in, in each of us is actually real, that we actually feel it, and that we're actually connecting somewhere that's not in our ideas. You know, respecting the fact that we're all different, but also we're all the same.